Well, the San Fernando Valley, West Hollywood, Los Angeles, uh, some of the locations where the alleged attack took place, we're talking about attacks that may go back as far as 25 years, Alex and Marla. Let's show you some videotape. These are the most recent images of Ron Jeremy, now 68 years old, born Ron Jeremy Hyatt in Queens, New York. He has been in custody for more than a year, has been in custody in court with masks on, with uh, shields on during, of course, the COVID crisis. He was originally arrested back in 2020 on four counts of various sexual assaults. But after presenting the case to a grand jury, today the district attorney made a major announcement. Ron Jeremy has been indicted on 33 counts, among them rape and other sexual assault charges. One of the victims as young as 15 years years old. And as I mentioned, these cases go back to the 1990s. He remains in jail uh, without bail. His attorney refused to talk about this indictment, saying that he just got the transcript, doesn't know enough about it. But I did speak with well-known attorney Lisa Bloom, not connected with this case, for her analysis. Every day, talk to my clients and talk to witnesses and high-profile sexual assault cases. Nobody wants to come forward. Everybody's scared. Everybody would rather just move on with their lives. But yet Those, a lot of women did come forward ultimately in this case. Yes, but the few who do come forward are really doing a service to all the rest of us. Look at the women who just took down Governor a service in, in, what in sense? New York. Because they are protecting the rest, rest of us from a predator. Those who come forward and speak out and say, even though I don't like it, I'm going to do this, I'm going to testify, I'm going to stand together with other victims, they are protecting the rest of us from predators. Now, Ron Jeremy has maintained his innocence of all of these allegations in the past. Again, his attorney not talking today. Uh, he remains in custody. Uh, and if he is convicted on even one or two of these charges, Alex and Marla, he's very likely looking at spending the rest of his life behind bars. Live in the San Fernando Valley, I'm Phil Schumann, Fox 11 News.